Hello my beloved viewers, welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel VBA series that is Visual Basic for application that is currently running into my channel. So friends, today in this video we are going to learn what actually VBA coding looks like and we are going through some important tips and tricks of VBA examples. So tie your seat belts and let's dive into this video watch this video till the end this is your host Pritam and you are watching technical portal YouTube channel so friends in my previous video we have learned about working with a code window create a module in VBE and on today's video we are going to learn getting VBA code into a module and we can do it in three ways that are in regular use so let's check what are those three ways so basically these ways are enter the code directly you can enter the code directly into your VBA module obviously then use the Excel macro recorder to record your actions and convert those action to VBA code that I have already showed you and obviously you can also copy the code from one module and paste it into another so in today's video we are going to learn the first way that is enter the code directly so let's get back to the Excel workbook here you can see as always we have to enable this content by clicking on options then go to the developer tab here in the code block you can click on visual basic or in other way you can press the alt and f11 key to get into the vbe that is visual basic editor sometimes the best route is the most direct one entering code directly involves well entering the code directly in other words you type the code by using your keyboard right entering and editing text in a vba module works as you might expect you can select copy cut paste and do other thing to the text just like any editor can do or you can do in notepad also use the tab key to indent some of the lines that will I obviously describe you later in this video to make your code easier to read indenting isn't necessary but it's a good habit to acquire by going through this video you will learn why indenting code is actually helpful a single line of VBA code can be as long as you need it to be however you may want to use the line continuation characters to break up lengthy lines to code to continue a single line of code also known as a statement from one line to the next end the first line with a space followed by an underscore I will show you that later but I thought you should know it at first then continue the statement on the next line and don't forget the space and underscore character is that's not preceded by a space won't do the job so at first we will use a basic VBA code to show you like this we will use our code to guess anyone's name right to do that you have to just simply type the code like this so here you can select any module or create a new one I am creating a new one by going insert then click on module right so you can see as there was no module one the module one has been created right now so at first in the VBA code you have to type sub sub means the subject and note carefully here the s should be in capital to better understand then put a space here like this then type a variable name that will be gone through here I am typing like guess name like this then open a bracket and close a bracket right now when you hit the enter button look at here in the declarations you will find this name guess name will be here so I am hitting enter look at here it has been changed and successfully we have entered our first code just follow my steps what I am doing and I will definitely explain you what I am doing here 
later in this video so after that you have to press tab button here look at here the cursor is now under the guest name now that is what the indent actually is now here we will type msg that means the message box will showed here with this variable then put a equation symbol put a space I am just typing space here to make it clearly readable right then here in inverted comma you have to type whatever you want to show in your message box I am typing here is your name then put a space close the inverted comma then I am putting the ampersand symbol here then again space then application dot username you can select from the drop down menu here then again you have to put a space here put ampersand symbol then again space double quotation comma question mark then close the double quotation then hit enter look at here it is now actually under the MSG box then here type like this ANS equals to MSG box it will show you in the message box open the bracket now it is showing that prompt buttons as like whatever it can be used in type your variable name msg our variable name was msg put a comma now vb y yes or no select that one right then close the bracket and hit the enter button now here select your conditional select your conditions if ands equals to v b no then msg box you can't enter just whatever you type in this quotation it will be showed like this then again hit enter now we have to select our condition when answer is yes if ands equals to vb yes then msg box then in the quotation you have to type your message I will type here you are close the quotation now here you can see end sub that means our code is now over now simply press on control plus s to save this close this then run this VBA where you can find your VBAs there is macros and this one run look at here is your name user here as my systems name is user that is showing here and whatever your system name is it will show you like this so here is a simple VBA code you can run like this I am running again to check what it shows when we click on no oh you can't enter like this we will assign more codes into this VBA to make it clearer you can also position the cursor anywhere within the text you typed and press F5 to execute the procedure F5 is a shortcut for run that is run sub or user form if you enter the code correctly Excel executes the procedure and you can respond to the simple dialog box when you enter the code listed in step 5 that is here you might notice that the VBE makes some adjustments to the text you enter for example after you type sub statements the VBE automatically inserts the guest name automatically inserts the end sub statement here and if you omit the space from before or after an equal sign the VBE insert the space for you also the VBE change the color and capitalization of some text this is all perfectly normal 
it's just the VBE's way to keeping things all neat and readable. If you followed the previous steps, you just wrote a VBA sub procedure also known as a macro. When you press F5, Excel executes the code and follows the instructions like I am just pressed the F5 key from my keyboard. Look at here, it executes the whole code for me. In other words, Excel evaluates each statement and does what you told it to do. You can execute this macro any numbers of time, although it tends to lose its appeal for after a few dozen times. For the record, this simple macro uses the following concepts of all of which are covered later that will be defining a sub procedure at the first line it is the defining a sub procedure assigning values to a variable that is msg and ans both of these msg and ans are called variables concatenating and joining a string like this one using a built-in vba function that is msg box using built-in vba constants that are VB yes no VB no VB yes using an if then construction that is the conditions of this programming ending a sub procedure at the last line so that's all for today in this video I'll come back soon with the next part of this video till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing these VBA codes in your computer also 